My name is Ebi Bergasta. This is Medium Tarot TV. I'm a psychic medium, and this is going to be Q&A Countdown 12 21 12. Mm -hmm. And this is going to be the last question installment for this. And it is quite an interesting question, I may add. The question is, will aliens spiritually evolved land and integrate with Earth to help better life and the quality. All right, let's go. I mix the cards up ahead of time for this one. All right, so... Will... Hmm. Well, as far as the, as the, um, well, I have to, I guess I have to explain this. <laughs> many, 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 many moons ago, I used to do readings in New York City, in restaurants, whatnot. And one time, this young woman asked me if she was abducted by aliens. Now, at the time, and I'm talking a long time ago, I was iffy on the subject of aliens. So, but I did the question anyway, you know, that's what I was there for, to do uh, tower readings. And lo and behold, I was told that there were aliens, they were spiritually evolved, at least the ones that um, I would be in communication with, and that they were here to help us. It turns out that that woman was not abducted, but she did have contact with aliens. Now, when I say aliens, I'm not talking about the Steven Spielberg aliens. I'm talking about highly spiritually evolved beings, light beings, just like we are actually. And, uh, you know, I have to, I really, I know I have to get to, um, to writing and putting the information down on paper, channeling. But one of the books that um, that I wanted to do, that Spirit also wanted me to do, was Earth Living 101, which would be for people who I consider spiritual family, basically people who are here, who have re reincarnated at this time, specifically to be on the planet at this time, for this energy convergence of 12-21-12, the uh, shift of consciousness, raise the vibration of the planet uh, to help those who I term spiritual family and those who love us. Basically, you know, to how to deal with the, the dense energy here on Earth. And, you know, thank God, thank Goddess, whatever, there are many who are assisting to raise the vibration on the planet. And these aliens that I'm going to be talking about here are the same spiritually evolved beings to assist us with raising the vibration of the planet. Now, as far as them landing, they're actually already here. <laughs> uh, they're already in communication with us. I actually have been in communication with them. And again, highly spiritually evolved beings. And back in... Back in the 80s, I would say, I don't know, 85, 87 or so, I had contact with them through a meditation. And yes, I was taken back. <laughs> I was taken back, but they said, you know, please have no fear. We are here to assist those who are open to receive. So, there you go. So, they're not going to land because they are already here. <laughs> and... The energy that I'm getting is they will make themselves physically known as time goes on. Okay? So they are here definitely to help us raise the vibration of the planet. All right. Now, actually, to be quite honest with you, those who I would consider spiritual family are aliens. We are aliens. We are light bodies. We just so happen to be in a physical body at this time. We want to assist the planet. We're the brave ones, the ones that wanted to be on the front line 
on the firing line, which is here on Earth. And there are many, thank goodness, many, 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 many souls assisting us on the other side, including the spiritually evolved aliens. And when I did, I did like one week of, full week of meditations, and I opened up the floodgate. I used um, a meditation called Meeting Your Spirit Guide, and that was some week. And one of those, I think it was like five days or so I did in a row, one of those days was this spiritually evolved group. There was one representative that came forward. They were in, this is back um, in the 80s, they, all I saw was like a robe. I didn't see a face. It was a robe like, like a monk would wear, and the energy was loving and um, totally loving, compassionate. And the energy wasn't male or female, by the way. It was both. It was a mixture of both. So it, it seemed that they have evolved the male-female energy. They blended it together, which is quite interesting. Which is the yin and the yang within us all. There you go. All right. So let's see. So they're already here. They're not going to land. They are going to help us with a better life and quality for those who are open to the concept. All right. Now let's see what else the reading actually says. It says in the future, as time goes on, they will make themselves known to more and more. Um, if you are, when you view this, if you're open to communication, you might want to try um, a meditation to make contact. You should definitely start with your making contact with your um, spirit guide first, though. I definitely recommend that. All right. They are here with love. Now, you know, there is the, the other side of the coin, right? There's always two sides of the coin. There most likely are beings who are... I don't know if they would be aliens or not because I haven't actually done the question. If they, you know, that do want to stop us, I'm sure, from growing and evolving because those are the beings, including some humans, who would want us to stay in the shadows and not be educated and not have the awareness so we can remain under their control. It's basically what it comes down to. So there is knowledge to be learned, seeked, seeked, and shared with these spiritually evolved beings. Okay. Now there's a second half to this question, which is taking away from the political confinements. So let's see if they're going to help us with that. Well, yes, they will assist us with that, but that's really a mindset, okay? A mindset shift of consciousness that has to happen with us spiritual beings in a human body on planet Earth at this time. We really have to shift our mind, our consciousness. And this has been a long time coming. You know, way before the 60s and the love generation, which is part of that energy shift, the age of Aquarius, it's all part of it. But, and this has been predicted, you know, many, many, many moons ago before any of, in different incarnations, I should say. I was going to say before we were born, well, before we were born this time around, because the advanced are um, older souls on Earth. So there are issues of, well, you know what? It really comes down to money and greed. That's what it's coming down to. <laughs> um, that is the issue that has to be cracked in order to assist with political confinements. We have to have the shift within all of us that we do not want to be altered. We do not want to be controlled. We want to have free will. And there, there are beings on earth, human beings on earth, that want to take those rights away from us. 
So we have to be consciously aware of this and um, do what we can. Uh, of course, I'm going to suggest meditation. Um, make contact with your spirit guide. Get this communication started, if not already. And then we can fulfill our purpose and our role of why our soul reincarnated at this time. And this time, this shift of consciousness is as huge as the shift from the Middle Ages to the Renaissance. That, that giant leap of consciousness, that is what is right before us. This, this film is filmed before 121212 and before 122112, of course, because this is Countdown. So we are to be making, this is what's suggested, changes with our day-to-day -day routine, our schedule, which is the foundation of our life. And we are definitely to add meditation. I know you've heard me say that a billion times, but it really is needed. And if we're in the proper space and alignment, we can make contact with spirit, with our guides, spirit guides, with highly spiritually evolved beings called aliens or other fellow light beings, if you will, if you want, if you desire. So there you go. This is, you know, this has been a subject matter that I have avoided in the past, I'll admit, but um, it's not really time to avoid the tough um, discussions, the, the tough subject matters. This is a time for everything to be revealed and so people can make their own choice. Make up their own mind. Haha. Uh -huh. So I hope that was beneficial. I'd like to say thank you for watching, tuning in. And if you have any questions or comments, feel free. Leave them below. This would be quite an interesting uh, topic to have um, interaction, open dialogue with. So until next time we connect, I say thank you, and I hope to connect with you real soon. Thank you.